the window suddenly. I know a hot from I am sorry. My lady, <laughs> I have news to tell you. Oh, my lady, I have news to tell you. The actors are come hither. Oh, bus bus. Upon my honor. Oh, welcome, masters, welcome all. Come, sirs. Hi, then, follow him, and look, you mock him not. <laughs> Friends, you're welcome at Elsinore. I'll leave you to leave me. Good night. Aye, right, so, God by you. Now I am alone. Am I a coward? Who calls me villain? <laughs> Zoons. I should take it, for it cannot be, but I am pigeon livered and my gall to make a push and bitter or ere this. I should have fatted all the region's kites with this land of the fall bloody bounty villain, remorseless, treacherous, lecherous, kindless villain. Oh, vengeance! Oh, this is most brave that I, the daughter of a dear father murdered, prompted to my revenge by heaven and hell must. Like a whore, unpack my heart with words and fall a cursing, like a very drab spolian. Fine, but <laughs> I have heard the guilty creature sitting at a play half by the very cunning of the scene been struck. So to the soul that presently they have proclaimed their malefactions. I'll have the players play something like the murder of my father before my uncle. I'll observe his looks. I know my course. The spirit I have seen may be the devil, and the devil hath power to assume a pleasing shape. I'll have grounds more relative than this. The play's the thing where an owl catch the conscience of the king. And, and can you by no drift of conference get from her why she puts on this confusion? She does confess she feels herself distracted, but from what cause she will by no means speak. Good friend, drive <coughs> your purpose into the delights of the players. We shall have. I have closely sent for Hamlet hither that she, as toward by accident, <laughs> may hear a front of feeling. I hear her coming. Let's withdraw. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler of mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles in my opposing. And the. No more. And by a sleep we say to end the heartache. A thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Oh, it is a consummation devoutly to be wished to die. To sleep. To sleep a chance to dream. Aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death what dreams may come once we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. For who would bear the scorns and whips of time but for the dread of something after death? And thus, conscience makes cowards of us all, and the native hue of resolution is simply over with the pale cast of thought. Oh, the noble Ophelia! My lady, I have remembrances of yours I have long and long to re-deliver. I pray you now receive them. No. Not a, I never gave you aught. Good lady, you know you did. Take these again, for to the noble mind rich gifts wax poor when givers prove unkind. Are you honest? My lady? Are you fair? What means your ladyship? I did love you once. Indeed, my lady, you made me believe so. You should not have believed me. I was the more deceived. Oh, get thee to a seminary. Why wouldst thou be a freer of sinners? I myself, proud, we are every knaves all, believe none of us. Go thy way to the seminary quickly, too. Where is your father? At home, my lady. Oh, and may the doors be shut upon him, that he may play the fool nowhere but his own house. Farewell. Oh, how are you, sweet heavens? Oh, if thou dost marry, marry a fool for wise woman, know what monsters you make of them. To the seminary! Go! Oh, what a noble mind 
is here overthrown. Love, her affections do not that way tend. There is something, something more in her soul, some danger. It is therefore I have prevented by thus setting it down. She shall with speed to England. It shall be well, but yet do I believe the origin and commencement of her grief sprung from neglected love. My lord, do as you please. But if you see fit, after the play, let her queen mother all alone entreat her, so she may show her grief, and I'll be placed it so please you in the ear of their whole conference. <coughs> it shall be so. Madness and great ones must never unwatched go. Here, sweet lady, at your service. There is a place tonight before the king. One scene of it comes near the circumstances which I have told thee of my father's death. I pray thee, thou seest that act afoot. Observe my uncle. If this occulted guilt not itself unkennel in one speech, it is, it is a damned ghost we have seen. <laughs> well, my lord. Oh, we'll be coming to the place soon. Get your place. You must be idle. Cousin Hamlet? Excellent. And faith of the chameleon's dish. I eat the air. Promise crowns. You can have peak up and so. Huh? Uh, I, I have nothing with this answer, Hamlet. These words are not mine. No? Hmm. Nor mine now. Be the players ready. They stand upon your patience. <laughs> Come hither, my dear Hamlet, sit by me. Oh, no, good mother. Here is a metal more attractive. Oh, ho, oh, do you mark that? <laughs> 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 and, and what do you call the play? It's a mousetrap. It's an image of a murder done in Vienna. Gonzago is the Duke's name. Uh, his wife, Baptista. It is a knavish piece of work, but your majesty, us that have free souls, I possess not. Oh, this one's Lucianus, nephew to the king. He murders him in the garden for his estate. You shall see anon how the murderer gets the love of Gonzago's wife. King rises. Oh, Give over the play. Give me some lights. Lights yes. away. Lights away. Oh, but Horatio, the ghost word for a thousand pounds is perceived. Very well, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh. My lady, the king. Oh, my sir, what of him? Is in his distemper, is in his retirement, marvelous distemper. Oh, with drink, sir? No, my lady, with choler. The queen, your mother, in most great affliction of spirit, hath sent me to you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> if it shall please you to make me a wholesome answer, I shall do her commandment. Sir, I cannot. What, my lady? I'll make you a wholesome answer, my wits to see. Hmm? But, to the matter, my mother, you say? Have you any further trade with us? No. Well, then I will come to my mother by and by. I will say so. By and by is easily said. Leave me, friends. <laughs> and now to my mother. I will speak daggers to her and yet use none. I like her not, nor stands it safe with us to let her madness rage. Therefore, prepare you to England and she along with you. I will myself provide. Oh, my offense is rank. It hath smelt to heaven. It hath the primal eldest curse upon a brother's murder. Pray can I not. What if this hand were thicker in itself than in brother's blood? Is there not enough rain in the sweet heavens to wash it white as snow? But what form of prayer can serve my turn? Forgive me my foul murder? No, that cannot be, for I am still in those effects for which I did the deed. My crown, my own ambition, and my queen. <laughs> well, try what repentance can. What can it not? What then? What rests? Oh, help angels make a say. All may be well. Now, my 
I do it, Pat, now he's a prank. Oh, now I'll do it. And so he goes to heaven. And so at my revenge, the villain kills my father. And for that I, his sole child, do the same villain sent to heaven. Am I then revenged to take him in the purging of his soul when he is fit and seasoned for his passage? No. Absurd. And know thou a more horrid hent. Trip him that his heels may kick at heaven, and his soul be damned and black as hell whereto it goes. My mother stays, this physic but prolongs thy sickly days. My words fly up, my thoughts remain below. Words without thoughts never to heaven go. She will come straight. Look, you lay home to her. I'll silence myself even here. Pray you be round. Lord, you hear me not. Mother! Withdraw, I hear her coming. Oh, mother, mother. Mother. Oh, and with thou thy father much offended. Oh, mother. You have my father much offended. Why, how now, Hamlet, have you forgot me? No, oh, by the root, not so. You are the queen, your husband's brother's wife, and you are my mother. Nay, then I'll set those to you that can speak. Oh, you shall not go until I set you up at last, where it may see the inmost part of you. But without you, that will not murder me. Help! Oh! What? Oh, help! Help! Death for death! I'm sorry. What has that done? A bloody deed. Almost as bad, good mother, as kill a king and marry with his mother. As kill a king? It was my word. Oh, thou wretched, rash, and shooting fool, farewell. Oh, peace, sit you down. Let me wring your heart. Look here, upon this counterfeit presentment of two brothers. See what a grace was seated on this brow. This was your husband. Look you now, it follows. Here is your husband, like a mildewed ear, blasting his wholesome brother. Have you eyes? Oh, shame, where is thy blush rebellious hell? Speak to me no more, oh, nay, but to live in the ring sweat and then seem in death. Speak to me no more, sweet hand, with these words like daggers into my ears. A murderer and a villain. No more. A king of shards and catches. <laughs> the last she's mad. No, this is not madness. Repent, what's past. Confess yourself to heaven. Avoid what is to come. <laughs> <laughs> 